Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to feature the Brickstone Pocket Projector for iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. It is basically just a sleeve that you fix your iPhone 4 into. And what we have, obviously you see the dock connector right there. On the bottom you have the uh, charger port there where you, it gives you the adapter to plug it in here and to your computer, but not to the wall. In the middle, there's just a little uh, status light to let you know if it's running low on power or if it's on. And then the last button is just on and off, and then also it will charge your iPhone in the charge position. On the side, we have uh, volume controls up and down, and at the top we have the focus wheel. And of course, uh, that's at the top is where the beam comes out. All right, so let's load up an iPhone 4 in here. It will not mirror everything. And let me just bring that up. Here. Slide it in. Lock it into the dock. Let's turn it on. And it, to turn it on, you do have to slide it to the right and hold it just for a few seconds until you see the light come on. There we go. And then you can see the beam coming out the front. Now, let's position it. Now, typically, when you are, you know, on the go, Showing slideshows, it, you know, your screen is going to have to be makeshift mo most likely. So uh, what I have using right now is the uh, just some poster board, about I don't know, 36 inches diagonally. The projector will show up to like a 50 inch diagonally, and uh, so sometimes you know the makeshift screen might be a, a big cloth napkin, a sheet a white sheet, everything has to be white, uh, even a white wall, white wall probably work the best. Anyway, so there's my portable screen. And then, realize it won't mirror everything, as you can see, but what we can do is YouTube videos, and we, you can play PowerPoint presentations that are emailed to you as an attachment. Um, you can play the movies that are on your iPhone from your video icon and also you can um, play your slideshows from your own photo library on your iPhone. Okay. Now at this point, uh, let me see if I have a presentation up and running. And let's go to my email. I have a presentation up that some students sent me. So I do have to do one more thing because it's, it's up on the uh, iPhone but it's not. It's just blue screen up there so far. So what I have to do is one more step and that is I have the Quick Office app downloaded and I will go up to the corner of this attachment and say it'll ask me you want to open in quick office so I'll do that and uh, have it hit just resume I've had it up before and it gives me some controls at least to advance the slides not that it will show you every animation effect you've put in there basically it's just going to advance the slides but as you can see now on the uh, poster board I have the slides showing so I can um, advance these so great for um, small group presentations. Obviously the portability is, is awesome. And I'm filming in daylight even though you know I've got it as dark as I can in here. So that gives you some ideas of how that's going to work for a presentation that was just emailed to me and then I um, opened up the PowerPoint attachment in Quick Office. Now, let's show some other things. So I'll hit the home button on the iPhone. It's going to take me back to a blue screen situation. And let me just get it steady there. And go back and um, let's just play a photo slideshow. Now, if you look here, um, it's in landscape mode, but um, you got to launch it. It's not going to show it right now. You have to actually be in slideshow mode on your photo library. So obviously blue screen there. But let me go back here. And I'll just um, start the slideshow. Yes, I'll say put some music with it, maybe. And um, start slideshow. Now you have your slideshow showing up on your makeshift screen. Now I had the volume turned up on the iPhone, but now I must also turn the volume up on the projector. So let me find that particular button. Just a little bit there. So 
So the external speakers are okay. Whoops, I think I hit the wrong button in the process. Let me start that again. And uh, put that up there like that, a little more even. Okay, so that's an example of the uh, photo library playing as a slideshow. Let me go back to the home screen, which will blue screen the projector part. And let's do video. Video is obviously from your video button, video icon on your iPhone. You won't see it display on your iPhone at this point, but it will shoot it to the, to the screen, to the projector. And let me just hit play. So that's an example of just playing a movie from there. Uh, it also, like I said, plays YouTube videos as well. And let's see if we have a YouTube video somewhere around here. Let's just go to YouTube. Well, let me just go to my favorites. Oh, it's forgotten my favorites, okay. Uh, most recent, maybe it'll remember that. All right, so that's your YouTube video um, playing. And also the price point on this, uh, $229. So a little pricey for a gadget, but it does a nice job, so I think it's worth it. And thank you for your time.